Hello plant friends, Adina here from Plants Equals Happiness. Today we are going to talk about a few of the Hoyas that I have in my collection and um, some of them they are quite rare, some of them they are very well known. So um, I'm really happy that I have uh, those uh, Hoyas uh, in my care. So let's just start it. So the first one that I'm going to uh, talk about is Hoya Escavata and I have it here in front of me. Uh, Hoya Escavata is native to Buru, island of Molucas, Indonesia, where it lives on the tree of humid forest. The genus is dedicated to Thomas Hoy. Uh, botanist and curator of the gardens of the Huk of North, Northumberland. The specific name is from Latin, adjective excavato, which means hollow with reference to the segments of the corona. Hoya excavata belongs to the same section as Hoya keriae, Hoya obovada, and Hoya meliflua. It is a climbing Hoya, uh, those uh, stem should be wrapped as soon as possible or you'll risk uh, breaking it. The leaves are quite uh, thick, <coughs> dark green, oval, almost a little egg shape, and they are between 10 and 20 centimeters long and uh, between 6 and 10 centimeters wide. The leaves don't have very clear veins and have no flakes. The flowers are flat, first but the older they get the corolla ages seems to curl back a little each flower is uh, between 15 and 2 centimeter and you'll find 10 between 10 and 25 flowers in an amber the flowers last up to two weeks uh, produce quite a lot of nectar that doesn't seem to drip and the fragrance is said to be strong and like vanilla as you can see the leaves I will turn my hoya around. It's quite thick when you touch them and um, it's more like a succulent uh, hoya. And as you can see, I have this hoya in Leka uh, to develop a strong roots. Um, I can wait for this hoya to grow. And um, I want to see when the new growth um is going to be visible i will show you the flowers which are absolutely breathtaking they are very very beautiful look at those flowers absolutely beautiful beautiful love 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 this hoya it's a very beautiful hoya because it has as you can see large leaves if you like that type of hoya and i love this type of hoya if um i want this hoya to be in soil i think i will use um, an african violet soil because it has a lot of perlite and of course mixed with orchid bark because as you will you know um, that hoya it's an epiphyte so grows on the trees or other plants as well say so they need to be to have a very airy soil um, I'm not sure, to be honest with you, if they they develop strong roots or no. Oh, you can see the roots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can see the roots. Very, very nice roots. You can see. That's why I place it in Leka, because I know Leka, it's a very good... Um, way for her to develop for hoyas to develop strong roots and beautiful roots as well so this one it's hoya escavata the next one uh, which i'm going to talk about is hoya uh, vaccinioides i will show you the plant it's very, very, very beautiful Hoya. 
The flowers uh, look the same as Hoya Bella, but the leaves are very thick and it grows more bushy, as you can see. They have more, uh, they have like a very small leaf and uh, they, they are, they are uh, a little bit thin, to be honest with you. And as you can see, it grows like a bushy vine. Very, very nice. And the vine grows out and up as well. Uh, Hoyas are evergreen, as you can, as you all know, perennial creepers or vines and rarely shrubs. They often grow epiphytically on trees and some grow terrestrial or occasionally in rocky areas. I love, love, love this type of Hoya. As you can see, I have it in Leka and I can show you the roots as well. Very, very nice roots. And if I want to transfer this Hoya in um, soil, of course, I will use uh, African violet soil because it has a lot of perlite and, um, and a lot of orchid bark as well. I will show you the flowers. Uh, to be honest with you, the flowers, they are exactly like Hoya Bella. So the flowers are exactly like Hoya Bella, white and uh, with dark pink in the middle. Very, very beautiful. I love this type of Hoya and I can wait for this Hoya to flower for me, maybe next year in the summertime. Um, I have this Hoya in the greenhouse. So to be honest with you, during of the night, the temperature there about 10 degrees Celsius and uh, during of the day they are between uh, 18 and 20 degrees celsius and the humidity it's really high it's like 80 percent humidity and sometimes 90 as well because i use a humidifier all the time so if you love the small leaf hoya uh, this hoya is for you hoya uh, vaccinoides Really, really beautiful Hoya. The next one, which is a favorite of mine. I love all of them, but this is really, really beautiful. This is Hoya Matilde Splash or Silver. As you can see, the leaves, they are covered in silver specks. It's a vining epiphyte plant in the dogbane family Apocinacea. It has attractive waxy uh, foliage and produce sweetly scented flowers. Hoya cultivar Matilde is a it's a Hoya Matilde is a cultivar of Hoya serpens and Hoya carnosa. You can see that I have this Hoya in Leka because it didn't have any roots, and I will show you the roots. Look how beautiful they are. And I think I'm going to transfer this Hoya in um, soil pretty soon. And of course, I'm going to use an African violet soil because it has a lot of perlite and orchid bark. The flowers are light pink with purple center. They are star shaped and are uh, born in clusters that look like they are made of wax. They are heavily scented and may produce excess nectar that drips from the flowers. The plant flowers from spring to late summer. It can produce umbels of 10 to 20 small star-shaped flowers that mature gradually on the same peduncle. The scent is strongest in the early uh, evening. Hoya cultivar Matilde has small, firm green leaves with silver specks. The underneath of the leaves are slightly hairy. And I will show you, you can see the underneath of the leaves, which is a ver very soft and it has like a pubescent um, leaves. You can see the, um, the hair on the leaves.
very very beautiful hoya absolutely gorgeous to have this hoya in your collection um i will show you the flowers mm -hmm. which are absolutely beautiful And the flowers are exactly like Hoya Matil. Beautiful, beautiful flowers. As you can see, all the Hoya flowers, they're absolutely stunning. And I can't wait for this one to flower for me maybe next year because they grow so fast. This is that type of Hoya who grows very, very fast. And you won't be disappointed with this type of Hoya. Okay, let's carry on the next one. This is a very rare Hoya. And this Hoya... is Hoya species NS0540 uh, as you can see the leaves they are absolutely beautiful they are more like a small hard shape leaves and they are uh, green color beautiful beautiful Hoya I placed this Hoya in um, soil because I had it in Leka and it has a beautiful roots so I place it in soil as you can see the soil has a lot of perlite and orchid bark um, this uh, type of hoya was discovered in 2005 by Natalie uh, Simmons during her travels. Um, at hoya, this hoya is one of the many hoyas in the section called uh, Akatostema. This hoya flower will grow in a, a very high humid environment. This is a very rare hoya and I will show you the flowers which are absolutely beautiful very 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 beautiful flowers and i have another picture as well look how beautiful the flowers are very very nice love 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 this type of voya and i will show you again the leaves which are absolutely beautiful Beautiful, beautiful Hoya to have in your collection. And I can wait for this Hoya to grow. Um, it has a growth point, as you can see. And I'm really happy about it. I don't know if camera will focus yet. And I can wait for this Hoya to grow. The next one. This is Hoya um, Elmeri uh, Splash. This Hoya Elmeri Splash originates from Sabah Borneo and it's an epiphyte. As you can see, I have it in Leka. And if I have to transfer this Hoya in soil, of course, I'm going to use a very airy soil, which um, has a lot of perlite and, of course, a lot of orchid bark as well. You can see the leaves. They are really, really beautiful, covered in um, uh, silver uh, specks, as you can see, splashy. It's a silver splashy uh, Hoya and I will show you the flowers as well. Which are absolutely uh, beautiful, beautiful, uh, beautiful flowers. There are many types of Hoya Elmeri. You can see how beautiful the flowers are. Gorgeous, gorgeous flowers. And um, of course the leaves, they are beautiful as well. So there are many types of Hoya Elmeri.
Look at those flowers, absolutely breathtaking, beautiful, beautiful flowers. And um, they say it's related to Hoya Mindorensis. Mindorensis. Uh, it's related to Hoya Mindorendis. Beautiful, beautiful Hoya to have in your collection. Okay, the next one, which is very, very beautiful as well. This is Hoya uh, Calicina. So Hoya Calicina originates from Papua New Guinea and first described in 1913. The plant is very uh, fragrant and can inf infuse your entire house in a beautiful lilac scent. The leaves are pubescent, fuzzy, and the flowers have red centers and um, uh, they can be quite beautiful. And I will show you the flowers. As you can see, even the leaves, they are very, very beautiful. Uh, and the flowers, they're absolutely gorgeous. You can see, um, even though uh, they are pubescent, you can touch them. And um, they have hair on top of the leaves and underneath of the leaves as well. You can see the hairy um, leaves. And of course the flowers, they're absolutely gorgeous. Sorry. Look at those flowers. Absolutely beautiful. Very, very nice flowers. I love this type of Hoya because I love this type of leaf. Um, I love pubescent leaves on the Hoya. Very, very nice. And I can't wait, to be honest with you, for this Hoya to grow in my care. As you can see, beautiful, beautiful Hoya. Uh, Hoya Calicina. And of course, beautiful flowers as well. As you can see, I have this Hoya Calicina in Leca. And I think I'm going to transfer this Hoya in uh, soil pretty soon. Love this type of Hoya. Beautiful, beautiful Hoya to have in your collection. The next one, which is, uh, it is very um, rare as well. This is Hoya Croniana Eskimo. This is a very, very uh, type of Hoya, which everyone uh, loves it because it has this um, silvery speckles on the leaves as well. This Hoya Croniana Eskimo species is from Philippines. For those who are familiar with Hoya lacnosa, Croniana is a close uh, cousin. Hoya Croniana Eskimo has leaves heavily patterned with white uh, speckles, as you can see. Um, you can see on this Hoya as well. The leaves of Hoya can be so telling, not just the shape and size, but also the feel of texture. Hoya Croniana is a small leaf Hoya. Each heart-shaped leaf is about the size of a nickel. A smaller leaf indicates that a Hoya can handle more light than a plant with larger leaves. And of course, this Hoya, I have it in uh, my greenhouse. Love, 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 love this type of Hoya. Very, very beautiful Hoya. So I will show you the flowers. 
which are really beautiful as well. And I can't wait to be honest with you for this whole year to flower for me. And of course, there are many types of Ahoya, the Kroniana, but the flowers, they're absolutely beautiful. Look at those flowers. They're so cute. Beautiful, beautiful flowers. And of course, beautiful, beautiful leaf pattern as well. Love, love, love this type of Hoya. So the, this is Hoya Kroniana Eskimo. The last one, but not the least one. This is Hoya Lobby Black Lady. Uh, this Hoya Lobby Black Lady is native to Thailand, a shade-loving plant that blooms much of the year and won't let you down. It's a very tough, tough plant that can really take conditions that would do many other Hoyas in the uh, Northeast. I have this Hoya in, uh, I had it in Leka, but I transferred it in soil. It develop, uh, doesn't really have a very uh, big root system. It has a very short uh, root system. The roots, they are very uh, small. So that's why I transferred this Hoya in uh, soil. As you can see, the soil is very airy. It has a lot of... Uh, uh, orchid bark and of course perlite as well and I will show you the flowers which are absolutely beautiful 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 flowers look at those flowers my god they are absolutely uh, gorgeous love 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 this type of hoya and of course the leaves as you can see they um how can i explain to you you can see they have a little bit of veins looks like hoya polyneura as an appearance but it's more uh, elongated uh, shape of the leaves i love 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 this type of hoya and i can't wait for this one to grow it has only four leaves as you can see but this is a very very beautiful hoya to have in your collection very very beautiful and i can wait for this one to grow all of them to grow so uh those are all the hoyas um in my collection you can see how beautiful they are so um big leaves small leaves and uh, speckle leaves as well beautiful beautiful elongated leaves um and of course you saw the flowers how beautiful they are and very different as well very 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 happy that i have those uh these hoyas in my collection and i can wait for them for them to flower as well in my care and i can wait for the spring to to come <laughs> So uh, that's it for today. Um, thank you very much for watching my videos uh, on my YouTube channel Adina Kikero Plants Equals Happiness and uh, give me a thumbs up um, and please like and subscribe and for those who subscribe uh, uh, thank you very much. Uh, I really appreciate for your um, for your help and um, that's it for today. See you in another video and have a lovely evening. Thank you very much. Bye.